Here we are in SimCity 4. This is the region and we are going to first make sure that we have set up the options for graphic settings properly. The, the visual effects etc. need to be on medium. Color quality is 32-bit. The renderer is set at hardware resolution 800 by 600 and we're going to click off the clouds and fog. Uh, do this at the beginning. You'll have to exit the game and re-enter for them to take effect because, but it's worth it because on our network the game will run much faster if you make your graphic options uh, set up the way they are shown here. And then we're going to go to the west side of the river to this nice big flat square to set up our city. We can click on it and start the city. And it's loading the city and resolving all of these things that it has to resolve. First of all, in God mode, uh, go to Control Night and Day and click on Day Only. Next, go to the Options button at the bottom, and this is where you can save the game, exit to the region, or exit completely from the game. Uh, those are the most important uh, controls in this toolbar, the Options toolbar. Next is the Mayor Mode toolbars. We're going to click on it. First, we have to name our city, and we're going to call this High Meadows. Chief Crazy Horse is a good name, and we're going to choose the hard level of the game. We're going to establish the city. See some fireworks because people are happy that we are in the, come to their city to establish a city. Our first task is to put in roads, so we go to the transportation tool and go to ro build roads, and we're going to choose the roads options rather than one-way roads, avenues, or streets. And we're just going to put in a quick grid. We're going to start some here, somewhere in the center and drag to the west go over the border and create a connection to Sim Nation. Yes. And we'll put in another road east to west and a third road east to west. Let me just move the screen up a little bit with my arrow key. And now we'll get some south to north roads. There. We're making a connection on the north side of the city and a third one. So now we have a grid or tic-tac-toe game grid to, uh, of roads. And that's going to be the basis for our city. Next we need electricity and we're going to go to utilities and then to the power plant. And we're going to choose coal. Coal power plant for 10,000 simoleons and I'm going to put it in right on this corner. Let me zoom in so we can see better. We want to go to the corner in the north, the, the street corner in the northwest corner of our city. I'm going to build it right there. It cost 10,000 simoleons and now we need to check our budget because we started with 100,000 and now with our roads and our power plant we're down to 84,478. The next utility I need is a water pump clean water. The Sims won't live in the city without clean water. The water pump is a small building. I'm going to put it right across the street so we can find it. Right across the street from the coal power plant and that costs 1,403 simoleons so I'm spending my money. Next we need a fire station and it will be a small one and we're going to put it right on this road and we want to make sure that the, our buildings are within the blue circle of protection. So we'll just put it right here. Both buildings are within the circle of protection. It's got to be right on that street. Let me zoom in there. See, it has to be on the street or the fire trucks can't get to the fire, obviously. Now we need a place for the Sims to live. Oops, I forgot to pause my time. Here are the time controls. It's going at the slowest speed, turtle speed. We'll pause that. And I now want to zoom out. I use the, one of the ways to do it is use the minus sign. 
and zoom out once more. I want to put in zones for the Sims to attract Sims to my city. I don't have any citizens yet, nor do I have income, but I've got a pile of monthly expenses here. So let me go to the zoning tool, and the first zone I want to build is residential houses. I can choose low, medium, or high. I'm going to go to medium, and I think I want to fill in this zone. Start near that power plant, and there's 12,000 simoleons I spent on that zone. The next one are, is industrial. These are jobs. I can have agricultural, medium density, or high density. I want medium density. I make uh, enough jobs in medium density, and I'm going to fill in the zone near the power plant. I'll put about 8,000 simoleons into that zone, and I'm going to put another zone right on top of it so I can fill in the whole city block. That's my industrial sector, sector up there. And now I need the third kind of zoning is commercial. This is stores. Sims need stores. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put in a commercial strip that is near X touches both the industrial and the residential zone. And I'm going to spend about 3,600 simoleons. And look how much money I have left. Only 53,475. Uh, and so, hmm. I spent a bunch of money. I have monthly expenses. You can see that as time goes by, if I keep spending money every month and I have no income, I'm going to go bankrupt. So I need to get some sims in this city. And the way to do it is by starting up the time and seeing if someone will move in. And look at that. Those sims are moving in very rapidly here. Let me collapse the toolbar so we can see. My town is filling in. Welcome, everyone. Zoom in closer. Look what I've got traffic on the streets. There's my city. Yay. Whoops. Pull up a chair and settle in. They want me to build a mayor's mansion. Well, I think I can do that. I'll accept that. And I zoom out and put my mansion right here, right in the intersection of all three zones so I can be on top of things. All right, let me expand my, my toolbar and let me pause the time and see what's going on here. Well, look at that. 974 sims have moved in and look at my monthly income 725 in there everyone's they're having a party at the mansion cool how come they didn't invite me well all right all right so let's check some things here question mark button the query I can check my power plant power plant the actual capacity is almost 6,000 megawatt hours a month I'm using 688 which is only 11 percent so I can save some money by drawing this down. I don't need to be making this amount of electricity with my small city. So I save some money. My expenses went down. But I'm, my expenses are still higher than my income, which is not a good situation. The mayor's job is to make sure the expenses always stay lower than the income. So let me see if I can, let's see what's going on in the water department. I'm making almost 20,000 cubic meters of water a month only using 188. That rounds off to zero percent. Let me go into my budget and lower my spending there because I'm wasting money on water. Yes, let's drag the slider down a little bit more than halfway. Yeah, that looks better. And look at this now. I am now my expenses are now 100 simoleons a month lower than my income, so I make money every month. That's what I want. All right, so there you go. We're, this city is off to a good start, and uh, I think that if you follow this, this, those setup rules, your city will be uh, a good one. Before we leave, though, let's talk about next steps. This graph is the demand indicator. 
this indicates that on the plus side they demand they really want me to build more residential and more industrial and there's no demand for commercial so the next time I do some zoning I'm gonna go in and put in some medium density residential because that is the highest column going off in the plus direction so I would I will build some more residential alright so it's time to go so see you later bye